Uh, welcome to Kuno on this sunny day. Uh, we are having uh, good temperatures today and uh, two events that will take place today should proceed uh, very well. The first one is that uh, the provincial cabinet and uh, the local leadership of the ANC will visit uh, Tatuma Diba's uh, Kuno home to pay uh, homage. Another prayer service will be held at the OR Tambo Hall uh, in the city center of uh, Mtata. Having said that, as we know that Tatuma Madiba has passed on and uh, he belongs to the Abatembu Royal House. Now, uh, with matters uh, relating to the Royal Houses, they are held uh, in a specific way in order, in order for them to retain the dignity they deserve. And uh, with me to talk us through those matters is Dr. Noguzola Mdende. Uh, Royal matters, uh, how are they handled, be it uh, preparations for a uh, marriage, and uh, in this case, we know that uh, Dadma Diba has passed on. Uh, the ro all the royal matters are dealt with by the royal family based on the seniority of that uh, nation. For instance, in this particular case, it should be the initiative of the Abatembu royal family based on the seniority. And we know the seniority of Abatembu, all of us. And now we are talking about Utata uh, passing on. We must first understand what is the meaning of death in, the, in our tradition. Death is the physical separation of an individual and in root to ancestorhood. So which means that that Matima now is on his way to ancestorhood, and he is going to be an ancestor for the Abatembu uh, 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 clan. Therefore, it is for Abatembu to make sure that now they are performing the right, the, the, the right rituals, because death is a, is a rite of passage. As we know that we have got several rites of passages. For instance, now that Matiba has passed on as an elderly person, in, 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 in Gauteng. And now the, he is the father of the world or of the nation, but the, the, the nation must deal with its issues separate from the royal family and from the family. For instance, I, 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 I know, and I'm sure it's going to happen like that, that since Tata passed away in Gauteng, and now he's in the military base, before he's taken, back to Kuno, they must take him to Houghton, and the elderly of the family must tell him, Dada, now you passed on here, now we are taking you home to Kuno, where your resting place is. And in African tradition, we don't have rest in peace, because an ancestor doesn't rest. So that is why from African religion, we are saying, Dada, you are seeing that the there is moral degeneration here. So you must first make a caucus there with the others and look at us and work so that now there is a moral regeneration, not moral degeneration. Mm. And now we know that uh, Tatuma Diba was a president of a country, meaning that he was in government. Yes. The government should also play a role uh, in the process or program of his burial and now you taking you talking of uh, the traditional way of doing things how should these uh, you know uh, go together yes you must have a, a, a picture of a tree a tree a big tree has got roots has got the stem has got branches that got leaves but that tree when it falls down everything must go to the roots. So that is why I'm saying it is good now that the government and the international world is doing what, what, is, what is doing now. There are memorial services that are happening all over the country. It will go, people are going to see the body all over the country. But when it comes to putting Tatu Mandela into his grave, the first words when they're taking him outside to Inkunda, and taking him to the grave and even leaving him in the grave, those should be uttered by the members of the royal family, selected by the royal family and the elderly 
of the royal family because Tatuma Diba now, he is a world icon, but he is now an ancestor. These are the people, the Diba, Diba, Diba clan, the Mandelas, the Lomos, they are the people who are still going to perform the ritual of Ukukapa. On that particular day when he is being uh, uh, buried, they must slaughter an ox to accompany him to the world of the ancestors. That is done now, not by the world, but by the family. And there are other rituals, the morning rituals, Ukuzila and the bringing back ritual, Ukumbuisa. Those should be performed by the family. So what is going to happen in Kunu, the family should play a major role. Outside Kunu is fine, but at Kunu, the family should play a major role because if that is not done, he is going to come and trouble his family and not the world. Uh, having said that, uh, we know that uh, the king of the Abad Tembus, Buyeleka uh, Dalingyebo, is leading a delegation to Houghton in uh, Johannesburg. Uh, in that delegation, uh, are traditional leaders as well as the mayor, councillor Giose of Ngobo. Dr. Nozolam uh, Dende also chairs uh, the Provincial Commission on Traditional Disputes and uh, Claims. So she has well uh, articulated what is expected when a member of the royal house has passed on. And now it's back to the studio in Auckland Park. Kyle, thank you very much indeed. Uh, he's in